the NUS press sold to a crime lord. Huge. If true. Maya's pressured Somi to reach further, breach boundaries. And then Somi snapped. <sighs> Don't know about that. Song recruited me specifically to pull Myers out of that wreck. I seriously doubt she wanted her dead or snatched by Hansen. It's never that simple, V. As I see it, Somi was playing both sides, simultaneously spinning deals with Hansen and you. She has Hansen set, then you come in. She contacts you via the relic. Ask you to rescue the president. Absolution for her right there. You need to cure just as much, guaranteeing you'll help if her plan falls through. And here we are. Yeah, and here we are, rushing to Songbird's rescue. Thinking a few steps ahead was always her strength. But judgment calls and situational assessment, her Achilles heel. As a chess master, she'd be famous for dazzling plays and excruciatingly beautiful defeats. What are you thinking? Shit. Can't shake the feeling. She's still running a game. Sure seems more upfront than at first. No way she's telling all, though. Could be right. Staying alert's never a bad idea. But I know Somi well enough to know she'll do her damnedest to be fair. So, what are you thinking about all this? I'm not convinced Somi's to blame for everything. In this trade, nothing's ever as it seems. You gotta keep asking questions till you get to the bottom of it. That's experience talking. Main thing now is to get her out of this cesspool of a sitch. Then we'll see which direction to take. Still should watch her every move closely. Sure. Unconditional trust? No more. Out the window. Right. Back to the sitch at hand. What do we have to do to save her? To grab the tech Songbird and I both need, we gotta go to a meet with Hansen. Prep for it's required. Cause we show up as a pair of runners. Need to collect their identities first. Whatever that means. Personality imprint theft. Sounds like our Colombian job of yore. Who are they and where do we find them? So how's one go about it? Clubbing someone's personality? FIA Menanthropic Tech. Alex has access. You seem to use it already. You look, sound, and act like the individual whose personality you assume. To do it, we need scans of our targets. Song got this shard to me. Take a look. Our targets are a brother and sister, red-haired twins. They're here somewhere, schmoozing. Hmm. Okay, we need to pull data. Get samples of assorted behavior. We make contact with them, talk, scan as we talk. Got it. I think. So, time to make our move? Over there. Wow. Traced them to Flash, Reed. Noticed them some time ago. They stand out even in this mountain pot. Twin roulette, looks like. Alex, you copy that? Radio loud and clear. Prep and scan tech now. You're new to this, but relax. We'll do it as a four-hander. I scan one, you handle the other. Alex will pilot us through. V, zipping funds your way from our operating budget. Load up on chips and join their game. Just don't go all in from the get-go. We stagger our approach, and we're strangers. Let's get to this. Struck gold with roulette, really. 
Gambling throws people around. High and low, brings the joy of winning and the despair of defeat. Perfect for our purposes. Greetings, madam. Wanna buy some chips? Of course. Good luck at the tables. V, important. You're not there to have fun. Simple bets, red or black only. None of the double street or basket bullshit, understood? Understood. Five. Will you join us? Red. Place your bets, please. Bettings open? By all means. Black it is then. Relax. Buy him drinks, break the ice. I'll join you momentarily. All bets are in. Bidding is closed. What? No introduction? V. You? Aurore Cassel. And that boar is my brother, Emmerich. What's your poison? My treat. A bourbon for me. Alas, mon frère does not drink. You heard the lady. And real water for the gentleman here. And what'll you have? G and tea, please. Gin tonic. Be right back. Your drinks will be here shortly. 27. Odd. Red. Eh merde! Place your bets, please. Last chance. Black. Let's go. Let's go. V. Can't get a hold of Reed. No idea where he is. Stall for time, okay? Hmm, I just realized. Uh, you must have dirt beneath your fingernails, too. Like all these bastards and bitches. That is, unless you're uh, in tourist. Like the no-lifers who must watch others live to feel anything. Provocative. You are struck speechless? You got me. No lifer, tourist, whatever your preference. <laughs> You're just teasing. 30. Even. Red. Ah, oh, yes. Duh! Fucking done here! Duh! <sighs> Place your bets, please. Can't help feeling I, uh, interrupted something when I walked up. 
Do not worry yourself about this. Oh, come, come. V is just being cordial. N'est-ce pas, V? You weren't snooping just now, 13. were you? Odd. Black. Still no sign from Reed, V. Got a sinking villain about this. Place your... Please. Hey, it's my magic. Ah, oh, you got me. <laughs> On to you big time. But in my defense, you guys stand out. Even in a crowd like this one. Oh, really? Listening to conversations of strangers can be... dangerous. Sometimes you can hear more than you can handle. Listen, Reed's MIA for now can't wait for him. Gotta do both scans on your own. Uh, we were discussing local politics, uh, specifically our host, Monsieur Kurt Hansen. Big fish selling big guns for big money. Yet here you have uh, celebrities, politicians, even the chief of police. So I was thinking, uh, perhaps Hansen would do better by being a veritable businessman, no? I claim he would. Mon cher frère disagrees. 28. Even. Black. Ugh. Guess it's not my lucky day. Place your bets, please. Who is Kurt Hansen really? A crucial question. Tread carefully with that duo, V. What do you think? Will you tell? Hanson's a suit without a suit, if you catch my drift. Oh my fucking god, you Americans. You used to have more imagination. Tossing you around, V. Don't let her. Level the field. Ask a gonk question, get a gonk answer. Deservedly, I'd say. <laughs> Touché. Empty banter aside, a stupid man the colonel is not. He should um, diversify revenues and assets. Nine. Red. Place your bets, please. Tu ne serais pas en train de devenir trop pote avec elle. On fait pas ton jaloux, petit frère. C'est pas comme si on allait baiser elle et moi. Charming little show you're putting on. <gasps> you see, Amrik, we are charming. I mean, Hansen could take Dog down by the throat, eject the junkies, and make it a paradise for billionaires. Just getting rich is dull. You should work for the community. Invest, create jobs, throw banquettes. She's getting chatty. Doing good, V. And charities are excellent washing machines. You launder billions, believe me. Twelve. Even. Red. Place your bets, please. You're so childish. It's beautiful. What? Hansen going missionary position in business. Nonsense. <sighs> Reed's still not responding. But you keep working it. Let's go. Swap twins. And basically owns Dogtown. Could use that as leverage. And who would Hanson be? The mayor? Please. He is very good at what he does. A professional criminal. Soldier yesterday, crime lord today. Why not biz shark tomorrow? Yet he is a businessman. And to make it legal? It is a lot of work to do for a simple change of label. Good. Little worms opening up. 
Nineteen. Odd. Red. Oh putain! Place your bets, please. Don't got much respect for upright, honest peeps, do you? Allow me to say, V. Arms or property, it would make no difference to me what I sell. And to spend five years on efforts to uh, change how people see you, call you, to be upstanding in the eyes of others, I could not give a shit. 24, even, black. Place your bets, please. Getting there. Almost got it. Give me something big now. Make them laugh or cry, I don't care. Please place your bets. Like the tingle of risk? Oh, ma vieille, t'as pas d'idée. Thinking we can add a little spice to our game. I'm listening. My, my, I too, I'm curious. How about we go all in? Bet everything we won tonight. And we play different colors, yes? You win or we do. And either you or we lose all. My thoughts exactly. A moment. You join the table, buy drinks, talk and talk. Now you wish to risk everything? I find this disquieting. Perhaps you could now tell us about yourself. Tread lightly. Name's V, afterlife affiliated. Make what you will of it. Oh, are you happy now? You choose first, then. Black's my choice. Oh, we are red. As our hair. A luscious color. Allez, 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 allez. Hey, even black. Putain de merde. Leave us for a moment, if you please. Congratulations to you. I know your friend Reed is FIA. My natural assumption is, you're an agent too. I'm also guessing you two took it upon yourselves to save the president, then exfil her out of Dogtown. I should send you back to Night City in body bags, filled with pieces. You trying to scare me? Dunno. Are you afraid? We're just talking, aren't we? You're not about to kill us. Got it right? To be honest, I got tired of the media circus. All the allegations thrown in my face, the bullshit propaganda. Luckily, we can put all that behind us now. Oh, so you couldn't be happier we saved Myers after your botched hit. Right. Think you believe that less than I do. I will let you and Reed walk free of this place, in one piece, on your own two feet. Consider it a gesture of my goodwill. Your little bird came to me on her own, though. She was tired of breaking international laws on the president's whim. She simply had to run away. Breaching the black wall? Jeopardizing the net, 
All humankind's safety, in fact, for personal gain? I wonder what Ned Watch would say. Pass it on to President Myers. Also tell her, her toy of mass destruction is my friend now. And she should get the fuck out of my backyard, or the world will learn about her games. I've matters to attend to. You'll find Mr. Reed downstairs. Okay, V. Got all we need. Sheesh. Colossal prick. Hear what he said? Yeah, caught it all. Didn't like it one bit, either. Son of a bitch that I'd find Reed downstairs. Yeah, heard him. Wasn't crazy about his tone. Time to evac, V. Best not tempt the fates. Head to the elevator, ride down to one. Need to know what's up with Saul. going to eat something, Lizzie. No buts. You can't run on empty- Hey there, Lizzie. V, what are you doing here? Could legitimately ask you the same. <laughs> yeah. I might be a little out of place, but I get around. And Dogtown, well, it always gets my blood coursing. Fortunately, I have darling Avi here. Avi's my new bodyguard. The best I've ever had, if a little too overprotective. Pleasure, Avi. Headset's Nova, Lizzie. <laughs> like it? Here, it's yours then. For real? Sure, got loads of them. You'll look like you're on Team Wiz. -Wiz. It's liable to take you places. I want you to have it. Wow. Thanks, Lizzie. Looking like you're about to delta out of here. Making my exit soon, yeah. But from one party on to another. A chum of mine from Legos is throwing one on his yacht. Friends, fireworks, diving, a private fashion show. Hmm. Shame. Some R&R &R out on the water would do good. But I'm sure you're, like, super busy. Plus, knowing him, there's gonna be drama, so I'm totally sparing you. Totally. Thanks. Hey, how are you holding up? Last time we saw each other was... you know... I'm... doing great. Really inspired lately. Never felt better. Yeah. Never felt better. Hope it stays that way. Enjoy your evening, Lizzie. Take care, V. And you keep skating along that edge. So fun! I'll be ready to bug out of here in five. Up to you, though. Oh, it's up to me? Come on. Don't act like you enjoy the jawing of these podium pounders and career criminals. Yeah. Thought as much. In that case, I'm gonna hollow the landing pad. Unless there's anyone else you want to talk to. Well, I was hoping to have a word with Kurt about that. Other biz. I can talk to him for you. No, don't bother. Another time, I suppose. You know, you shouldn't be talking to him at all. That man means danger. Even for Lizzie Wizzy. You know my thoughts on this. All too well. That mean you'll listen? <laughs> oh, please. 
We will discuss this at a later time. Of course. I'm always Stage entrance, eyes. artists only. What a headdress. Are you one of the dancers? May I see your invitation, ma'am? Oh, sure. Is everything in order? No need to worry. Routine verification. Please enjoy your evening. Is something happening? Hmm. People are checking. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Actually, the laundry room area, I think someone was there. But earlier. Come on, show me where. Keep thinking about what that prick said. Guy knows. Got some dirt on Myers. Can't imagine it happening. But if the public learns that any US president willingly broke international laws governing cyberspace use, then USA is fucked. Myers will either have to take the fall, let herself be buried in dirt for this, or she'll defy the world and spark another war. Fuck me. Songbird's a walking, talking WMD. And Hansen's got her on a tight leash. And he can prime her for use whenever he wants. Listen, V, we need to get her out. For everyone's sake. Oh, just once I'd like to see things go smoothly, as planned. This feels so very, very wrong. You and your chum best be headed the fuck out now. Straight on from here, gonna walk you two out. Come on, V. No reason to hang. Reed. Not the time, V. Move it! Let's go! Oh, yeah? Make me. No, V. Let's just go. That's our cue to this! <laughs> Eat shit, psycho! You made a big fucking mistake! Almost home now. Spread the 
They sure miss this.
Got this guy above. Still got a tail to shake. I'm out of the woods, too. See you soon. Watch yourself. V, what's the status? All good? Alex said you went at the runners on your own. Got the scans. How about you spill where you been? What happened? Had us worried. The op was underway. I didn't want to jeopardize it, so when confronted, I behaved. They cornered me, got me before we could meet up. Forget the rest. How'd it go at the table? Anything to worry about? Hansen showed up. We chatted. Threats were made, actually. Said if Myers doesn't let up, world will learn about Songbird, about Pierce and the Blackwall. He clearly knows what Somi means to the president. Personal WMD, you mean? Yeah, Hansen knows all. Need to get her the fuck out, Reed. Really? I was afraid of this. Okay. P, Alex and I have work. We need to analyze the data from Songbird. Might take a day or two. Prem, open comms line then? Sure. We'll work out a game plan. Get back to you ASAP. Oh, and V, bang up work.
residence murder by Wang Lian Rinder, a long-serving ex Barga school. Naturally, the victim's families want him found and appropriately dealt with. Head down there and find Brianna Dolson, the stack's unofficial representative. She'll fill you in. Happy hunting. Oh, sorry for interrupting. Name's V. Hand sent me. Brianna, I take it? That's right. People Martha. This woman playing? here. Absolute she'll help us. Respect. We'll give you some space. Okay? Yes. Go. Sorry. Emotions are running high right now. Before we start, need to understand who you are. Where from. Life in Dogtown? Know it well? Grew up on the streets of Haywood. Not an easy life, but I pulled through. Never quit. Guessing it's not so different in Dogtown. Except you don't gotta always be given the slip to badges. Not the badges, no. That's true. That's you introduced. I'm Brianna. Six years back, the Tigers came after me, so I ran. Landed here. For most of us, our past doesn't amount to more than that. Running, surviving, which is why... I want to make sure that for once, the eddies we scrape together will buy us justice. Real justice. How'd you put together the scratch for this? All of us here, we pitched in. We've suffered enough. Gonna answer? Justice means what to you, exactly? Definitions vary. Wanna hear your take? Leon Rinder doesn't deserve to live. He was a triggerman for Hansen. A murderer. All too familiar with that brand of justice. Good for you. Doesn't change Rinder killing Martha's son, Jason. Along with his friends and four other residents. Jason. Caleb. Deontay. Omar. Pharrell. Matthias. Elisa. And Tamika. Rinder's not a Bargas soldier anymore. Why? No clue. All I know is he's brutal, cold blooded, a beast. What's his connection to Hansen? He joined when Hansen set up shop in Dogtown, carried out orders no one else dared take, according to rumor. Why would Rinder be meeting with Jason? Any idea? All I know is that Jason was supposed to put Rinder in touch with the Scavs. Scavengers? Jason happened to be involved in some unsavory biz? He was a young man trying to get by in Dogtown. Wasn't no angel, but his heart was in the right place. Martha made sure of that. Well? Surely even Bargas doesn't let murderers walk free, dodge consequences. Have to catch them first. Told them what happened, but as usual, they simply don't care. Martha's boy, Jason, he wanted to become a fixer. He set up some deal, brought Rinder to the stacks. But there was a dispute. Rinder opened fire and, well, was still scrubbing the blood off the walls. Identified the bodies by their implants. I see. Found this in Jason's body. It's encrypted, but I'm sure you can manage. Feel free to look around. Investigate. There's still plenty of... Uh, traces. What's on the data shard? I don't know. But I'm betting that whatever Jason did for Rinder, it'll have details. Gonna answer?
Grinder will get what's coming to him. I'll make sure of it. Can tell that to Jason's mother. Good. I will. Now you know what we've been through, V. Don't let us down. Can count on me. Rinder's dog tag. Bring it to me. It'll serve as a reminder to this pack of thugs that we're capable of fighting back. I'll do my best. This is Kurt Hansen. You are now in Dogtown. Rule one, no en- Badges will get a bullet to the brain. Rule two, no courts. You're just not welcome. See these combat souls? Must have run up, boosted onto the roof of this shack, bashed his leg against the railing. That's a ten foot jump for a man who's got to weigh at least 360 pounds, leaving dino prints like these. So either we're witnessing the fattest fuck who ever jumped, or Rinder's got augmented hamstrings on top of being crumbed up like a goddamn tank. Is a riddle, all right. Take it out on the ground or something? Not his fist. See the blood? Indentation? Took some poor fucker's head and bashed it. Repeatedly. It's like he went berserk. Marks like these... I'm thinking... 50 cal rounds, Mark 31 HMG. Heavier than a motherfucker lead spitter that did this. Hauling it with a Gannick arm? Not a chance. Shit. Classic go-to for Militech sure Marines. Ex-soldiers like Rinder. Scan did pick up traces of other rounds, which would make him the lone shooter. Seems you're looking for a bored-out killing machine that's lost all self-control. Sounds about right. 